Hasselblad X1 digital series cameras. Best cameras ever made. This is the X1D Mark II. This replaced the X1D. There were a few issues with the X1D. That's, that's widely documented. This is a compact medium format digital camera. Sensor, 33 millimeters by 44 millimeters. Color reproduction, absolutely off the charts. They are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The depth of the color is fantastic. The depth of the blacks is absolutely fantastic. Prime lenses predominantly available for it. Absolutely sharp as anything. Um, 35 to 70 zoom at the time of recording is the only zoom lens available. Um, massive screen on the back. Beautifully made, machined aluminium, fantastic grip here. The, the way this thing actually sits in the hand is, is like nothing else. Um, as I said, you know, very, very compact. This is the Nikon F2 for comparison. This is a EOS 1D. This really, no, this really is, this really is quite some camera. Best camera ever made? Yeah, I think it is. Would I recommend it to absolutely everybody? No, I wouldn't because along with Hasselblad's other cameras, it's very much a niche product. This is a camera designed for a small part of the photographic market. If you are part of that little niche, you will pick this up and never put it down. If you are not, you might well pick it up and absolutely hate it. What I'm gonna do now is just talk through the camera to give you a better idea of, it, of exactly what it's what it's about, what its strengths are, and what its weaknesses are. Okay, so let me explain more about what I mean by niche product. Look at Ferrari. Very fast, beautiful sports cars. But they're not everybody's cup of tea. If you've got a family with a couple of kids, you've got no room in the back. If you want to drive down an unmade road, you'll ground the Ferrari all the way. In, in many cases, most people will be better off with a top of the range, let's say BMW. The BMW has more space, it's more comfortable to drive, you won't ground it going over speed bumps, and it's still very fast, but not quite as fast as the Ferrari. The people that buy the Ferrari buy the Ferrari because they appreciate it's the very best at what it does. And that's what, that's what this camera is. This camera is the very, very best at what it does. But you need to understand who the camera is aimed at, who Hasselblad had in mind when they designed this camera. Now, if you're a sports photographer, this is no good for you. The, the, the lens range just isn't there. If you're a nature photographer, again, absolutely no good for you at all. The, the lenses aren't long enough or fast enough. If you're, if you're a, a fashion photographer or a street photographer and your style is very fluid and very fast moving, you'll just, you'll find this, 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 this holds you back. It just isn't quick enough. If however, your photography is very considered and very slow, you will absolutely love this camera. If you appreciate that by slowing down and by, 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 by thinking about the composition more, by thinking about lighting more, by thinking about the time of day, the time of year, thinking about the season more, then you will absolutely love this camera. You are the sort of person that this camera is designed for. Inevitably on YouTube, comparisons are made between this and the 70 a 74 or the Nikon D850. People are always comparing this to the best of the, the full frame 35 millimeters digital cameras. But that's a really daft comparison because it's a bit like comparing the BMW to the Ferrari. The markets are just different. The, the full frame 35 mil cameras are very broad markets. They, they, they meet the needs of a, a broad number of people. This is, is, is the niche product. It meets the needs of a smaller group of people much, much better. So by thinking about your photography, by thinking about what sort of photographs you take, you can then decide whether this camera is for you. And if you are, for example, a film photographer that uses 5.4 sheet film, or you're a film photographer that uses medium format Hasselblad, Bronica, Mamiya, you'll love this camera because you already appreciate that by slowing down your photography can improve and by taking time 
this will reward you like no other camera. It really is quite something. I hope that's useful. If you have any comments, please stick them in the box below. Um, otherwise, please subscribe and like, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.